What's up, guys? True Crime King, back. How we doing this morning? And uh, I guess everybody knows by now, but from the title, I'm going to be doing a video, a reaction video, just on Jonathan Lee Rich's background. Um, I didn't know it was this bad. Um, and I just wanted to show you some of the guys that are, you know, in true crime. Um, I don't know. So this is straight from Wikipedia. I just went to Wikipedia, typed his name in. Um, I would shout out the guy that, uh, told me to look him up, but I forget, I forget your name, but you know who you are. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna read some of this stuff, so... You guys know who you're watching, you know. Um, I thought it was pretty fascinating. So here we go. Jonathan Lee Riches is a convicted fraudster known for the many lawsuits he has filed in various United States district courts. Riches was incarcerated at Federal Medical Center in Lexington, Kentucky for wire fraud under the terms of a plea bargain. His release date was April 30th, 2012. He was arrested for violating his federal probation in December, 2012. Okay, so he was released in April and then he violated his probation in December for wire fraud. Uh, it's not, <laughs> it's not very smart, right? Uh, apparently he wasn't supposed to leave the state of Pennsylvania while he on probation, but he did. And guess why he did that, right? He drove to Connecticut after Sandy Hook and <laughs> he pretended to be the uncle of Adam Lanza, the Sandy Hook school shooter. What? Okay, you got to be kind of crazy to do that, right? Um, and I'm sure uh, John, Jonathan might come after me after this video just for telling the truth, right? I'm, I don't give a shit. Here we, but anyway, here we go. Since January 8th, 2006, Jonathan has filed over 2,600... 2,600 lawsuits in, fed in federal courts across the country. Some of which have received considerable press attention. Among the more famous defendants of his lawsuits are New England Patriots coach Bill Belichick, former president of the United States, George Bush, Attorney General of the United States, Janet Reno, <laughs> Martha Stewart, NASCAR driver, Jeff Gordon, Atlanta Falcons quarterback, Mike Vick, <laughs> one of the richest men in the world, Steve Jobs, I mean, this just keeps going, celebrity blogger, Perez Hilton, He's even filed uh, lawsuits against Somali pirates. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, and pop star Britney Spears. Uh, so all these people on that list have, are rich and have money, right? It's not like he's uh, he's filing lawsuits to, to people that don't have money. I guess he's trying to just get a payday, right? He also sued the late... Uh, what the fuck? Benazir Bhutto uh, was a Pakistani politician and stateswoman who served as the 11th and 13th Prime Minister of Pakistan. <laughs> um, and the Immigration and Naturalization Service. The whole service. The Immigration and Naturalization Service. And if, if, just so if anybody doesn't know, that is the agency uh, of the U.S. Department of Labor 
from 1933 to 1940 in the U.S. It's called the U.S. Department of Justice from 1940 to 2003. It doesn't exist anymore. Um, on November 7th, 2007, that's when he uh, sued the Immigration and Naturalization Service. That He sued them to prevent him from being deported to Pakistan and tortured upon his release from prison in March 2012. There was no evidence beyond this lawsuit of any attempt to deport riches. <laughs> so I think it was all in his head or it was all in his head. <laughs> this is crazy shit, man. Um, okay. In April, not, on April 9th, 2008, Jonathan Lee Riches filed a request for a temporary restraining order in a U.S. district court against Grand Theft Auto publisher Take-Two, developer Rockstar Games, FCI Williamsburg, and Grand Theft Auto itself, claiming that the defendants put me in prison. So Jonathan Lee Riches didn't put himself in prison. Uh, he's he's claiming that Rockstar Games and and um, and Grand Theft Auto put him in prison. Uh, I think that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Um, the in the inmate stated, or Jonathan Lee Riches stated, defendants uh, contributed to uh, him committing uh, committing identity theft. Um, Jonathan Lee Rich's game show, Sex, Drugs, Violence, which, of, oh, he says the games show Sex, Drugs, and Violence, which offends him. Well, don't play the game then, John. Um, Rich's continued, they put me in prison. I face imminent danger from violent inmates who played Grand Theft Auto and will knock me out and take my gold Jesus cross. Oh my God. Riches attempted to intervene as a plaintiff in the, in the Madoff uh, investment scandal, claiming that he met Bernie Madoff on eHarmony, <laughs> a dating site. In 2001. And apparently he taught uh, Bernie Madoff identity theft skills. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so comment below on what kind of mental illness you think Jonathan Lee Riches has. I, uh, I'm convinced 100% already he has at least one, if not multiple, um multiple multiple mental illnesses um okay let's continue in may 2009 riches filed for an injunction against the guinea's book of world records seeking to stop them from listing him as the most litigious individual in history Okay, so think about this for a second. The Guinness Book of World Records was going to, uh, to uh, or they might have, uh, you know, I, I haven't uh, read the Guinness Book of World Records, but uh, put Jonathan Lee Riches in there as the individual who sues the most people in history, the history of humankind. And that was in 2009. <laughs> um, let's see here. Most litigious man is not something Guinness Book of World Records has ever monitored as a, as a record category, she said. The action, like the vast majority of uh, Rich's filings, was dismissed. So I think Rich's wanted to be in the Guinness Book of World Records. But the Guinness Book of World Records didn't even, doesn't even cover, uh, that's not even a thing, right? 
Jesus Christ. He's trying, he just tries, it seems like he tries to get attention in any way possible. But it's the most negative and stupidest attention that you could possibly try and get, right? Why would you want them to, why would you want to go down as the person who sues the most people in history? And most of your cases are just made up shit. I mean, you pretended to be the uncle of Adam Lanza. While you were on probation, you knew you couldn't leave the state of Pennsylvania. But you did it anyway, just to seek attention. And John, I'm talking to you. I know you're watching this. Sue me, man. <laughs> Make something up, you know? <laughs> so here we go. Um... Some of Rich's defendants are not even persons subject to suit. These include Adolf Hitler's National Socialist Party in the, in the 13 tribes of Israel. One lawsuit in which George Bush was uh, first named the defendant also includes another 783 defendants. That cover 57 pages. They include Plato, Nostradamus, Che Guevara, James Hoffa, various Buddhist monks. <laughs> all, hold on. All the survivors of the Holocaust. So, let me get this straight. These people survived the Holocaust, the most brutal thing that that somebody could have ever experienced and, and lived through. And then he, he tried to sue them? Okay, just for that, uh, Jonathan Lee Riches, immediately, I do not like you, and I never will again. Um... I'm glad I, I'm glad that I uh, am uh, gaining knowledge on on you. Because if I knew this, um, I would have exposed you uh, way before this. I'll tell you that. Um, okay, all the survivors of the Holocaust. The Lincoln. He's try. He tried to sue the Lincoln Memorial. What? I mean, come on. And half of these. People aren't even alive anymore. Right? I mean, are you stupid? He tried to sue the Eiffel Tower. What are you suing the Eiffel Tower for, John? It's a tower. The USS Cole, which uh, is a is an Aegis-equipped guided missile destroyer, Stationed in Norfolk, Virginia. What what did the, what did the USS Cole do to you, John? Nothing. I mean, but try and protect you. You know. Um. He tried to sue uh, the Mein Kampf, uh, Adolf Hitler's book, uh, the Garden of the Garden of Eden. I mean, what? This is just... Literally, this is like a... Uh, a fiction book. But it's, it's, it's stranger than fiction. And it's actually true. He tried to sue the Roman Empire. The Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Plymouth Rock. He tried to sue the Holy Grail. He tried to sue no all the Nordic gods. <laughs> um, the dwarf planet. He tried to sue the dwarf planet Pluto. You know, when I was growing up, it, um, it, Pluto was considered the ninth planet, right? But now, apparently, it's not a planet anymore. It's a dwarf planet, right? I don't know. They keep changing it. And uh, the entire Three Mile Island incident. Uh, the Three Mile Island incident was a partial meltdown of 
Three Mile Island. Um, a react a, re, a nuclear reactor on the Susquehanna River in Pennsylvania. A number of Rich's lawsuits have been dismissed as being frivolous, malicious, or for failure to state a claim upon which relief could be granted. <laughs> um, Willis Hunt, the U.S. District Court judge who dismissed Rich's suit uh, suits against Vic as uh, farcical opined uh, that his lawsuits were clearly self-promotional. So the, even the judge, okay, the judge, the U.S. District Court judge who dismissed his cases said that Jonathan Lee Richards, he said this on record, under oath, that uh, his lawsuits were clearly self-promotional. So John is just seeking it. He's trying to get attention from all these. It's not even about the money. It's just about attention for John. As per uh, uh, U.S. Code 28 and 1915, he is barred from proceeding in forma. What is this? is a form of, I don't even know how to pronounce this, poparis is a Latin legal term meaning in the character or manner of a pauper. It, it refers to the ability of an indigent, someone who can't pay uh, to proceed in court without payment of the usual fees associated with a lawsuit or appeal. So, like, if someone can't afford uh, a lawyer, they get a public defender because they're uh, indigent, right? They just, they don't have enough money for a lawyer. In July 2018, Riches was indicted by a federal grand jury in Arizona. He is charged with making false statements and other fraud after an attempt to file a lawsuit against Gabby Gifford while posing as Jared Lee Loftner? Oh, dude, John, you're making me fucking almost hate you. Seriously. Um, Gabby Gifford, she was in a, uh, a retired... She's an, she was uh, an American politician and she was uh, holding an event outside a supermarket and Jared Lee Loftner is the man who walked right up to her and shot her and right in the face and she she lived and, and she's still getting better to this day but she still has uh, problems to this day and Jared Lee Loftner looks like a, he, he just looks he's crazy I mean um and John tried to pretend to be him and tried to sue Gabby Giffords after what she'd been through? I mean, John, what the fuck are you doing, man? Seriously. A collection of Rich's lawsuits was published on April Fool's Day of 2016. And he just did this. He just did this with against Gabby Giffords and posed as Jared Lee Loftner in 2018. That was five years ago. So obviously, he he's, he hasn't changed, right? I mean, he's been doing this since the early 2000s, at least. Uh, in November 2018, Riches. Self-published, Nothing is Written in Stone, a Jonathan Lee Rich's companion, which contains a selection of his lawsuits as well as an autobiography. Well, I bet you didn't put all this shit that I just read in your autobiography, but I'm not going to be buying it and reading it, I'll tell you that. And I don't think anybody should buy this book. Because uh, from what I've just read, 
which are facts. Jonathan Lee Riches is not a good person. He clearly has mental issues. He, is, he sued the most people in history. And he sues people that have been through very, very hard times. The survivors of the Holocaust. Gabby Giffords, just to name a few. I mean, this is why I do this, to expose people. But it's, it's usually people that don't create content on true crime. But in Jonathan Lee Rich's case, he's both. He's a criminal and a content creator on true crime. So that's why I'm covering you, John. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if he tries to sue me for... For doing a video on him. Because he is the most <laughs> litigious man in history, right? Uh, but good luck with that, John. And I'm going to keep doing videos on you, just so you know. Everybody should know this. Especially if they're watching your videos. I didn't know all this about you. This is crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please. And until next time. True Crime King. Out.